When faced with a problem, most of us try to jump straight into finding a solution. Sometimes we can get attached to our own solutions rather than focus on solving the problem itself. Here's an example. A guy called Ernesto Ciroli was 21 and working for an Italian aid organisation. His first project was in Zambia, in a village called Chirundu. They thought with their expertise, they could teach the locals more about agriculture. They cleared four or five acres of land by the river and found the soil to be of amazing quality. They couldn't believe the locals hadn't thought of planting there. The first crop of tomatoes they planted grew spectacularly. So one morning, they go down to harvest these beautiful tomatoes. They get the tractor and arrive in the field and there was nothing left. No tomatoes, nothing. The soil had been churned over. The Italians looked at the river to find 300 hippos eating tons of tomatoes. The Zambian workers said, Yeah, they love tomatoes. That's why we never plant anything by the river. This was an international aid project and they hadn't even thought to ask the locals. They were so confident they knew better. Stories like this show us we need to learn as much as we can about a problem first. You never know what little bit of knowledge could unlock a great solution. We know problems don't exist in isolation. They are always part of a larger system. If we don't understand that system, we can end up treating the symptom of the problem rather than the cause. And as we know, systems are complicated. This is why we use a systems map. A systems map is a super useful tool to help see the bigger picture and can show you lots of ways you can affect change.